Hello everyone, welcome to Be The Boss Dog Training and our channel. Today we're gonna to talk about the two mistakes that you're making with your dog with recall. So but first I want to start off and tell you guys my personal story with this dog that's in front of me. This dog that's in front of me is Carbon. And when we got him, we got him from the shelter and when we would open the front door, he would run away. Not just run away, but he'd run to the closest park and go and play with other dogs. He would run away, he wouldn't listen, he jumped out of a car window, and then even in the house when we needed him to come, he would think it was a game, and he wouldn't come when we called, and he'd think it would, it would be fun to not listen to us and to run around and not pay attention to us. So I'm gonna demonstrate two mistakes you're making with recall. Here's the first mistake. You are relying on treats too much. <laughs> So the first mistake is using treats to bribe a dog. So what I mean by that is, is this, I'll show you. That's mistake number one. And the why it's a mistake is because if you noticed, Carpen was never looking me in the face. He is always following me, he's always following the treat. Watch, I'll show, I'll show you again. Come here, Carbon. Okay, ready? Watch. Watch this. Come here, Carbon. See how his eyes are going to the treat? Come here, Carbon. Come here, Carbon. Come here. See? See how he's following the food and he's not following me. So your first mistake is that you're developing a relationship between your dog and the food. Your dog and the food, not your dog and you. So I have a few treats here in my treat pouch. I'm going to show you how to use it correctly in just a second, but we're going to throw these treats away. Obviously, don't let her, we're gonna pick that up. <laughs> Throw, uh, the first mistake is food. The second mistake that you're making is you're, you're taking your dog and you're going like this, come here, Carbon. And you're telling them to sit. The first, mis the second mistake you're making is you're having them sit and stay. And then, and then you say stay. And then you back up and you say, come here, Carbon. not that is a huge mistake <laughs> what I mean is if you need to recall your dog odds are zero percent that they're sitting down somewhere just waiting for you to call them <laughs> so when you need to recall your dog they're gonna be running they're gonna be sniffing they're gonna be distracted by something else and that is when you need to recall them I'm gonna do both mistakes at the same time so he's sitting and then I'm gonna use food ready Hey, two horrible mistakes. But if you go online, that's exactly what you're gonna see when you, when you teach your dogs to recall. So, I'm gonna fix the first mistake. The first mistake we talked about was food. I have a remote collar. Carbon has his remote collar on. If you have more questions about this, please comment below. I don't have time right now to go into the sensitivities and the sophistication of this call. I'm gonna use food until he actually comes to me. I'm not even gonna touch the food in my pocket until he comes to me. So I'm gonna push the button and I'm gonna say, come. Now I touch the food. Thank you, now I touch the food. Yes, he's looking me in the eyes. Then he gets the food. I'm gonna. Do that again. Right. Okay. Okay. Carbon comes. Push the button. Have him sit. Now I touch the food. Put my hand out so the food's over here. He has to look at me. Yes. Good boy. Okay. We're going to rectify the food situation. The next one is having them sit and then calling them to you. So, but I'm going to break carbon. And I kind of did it there a few seconds ago when I called him to me, but I want Carbon to be distracted. So I want his eyes, I want him focused, just, uh, looking at something else. I want his ears, if he hears something, I want him distracted at something else. Or his nose, if he's sniffing something and distracted, I want to get him distracted and then I'm gonna call him to me with the remote. So we're gonna break him. And I'm gonna have him get, <laughs> there's a roll. <laughs> That's one happy pup. Okay, go. Okay, go sniff. Okay, so he's distracted. Carbon cuts. 
I'm pushing the button. Thank you. Now I take the food. Good boy. Okay, we're gonna do it again so you guys can see that. Ready? Distracted, carbon pump. And sit. Now I touch the food and now I give it to him. Let's do it one more time. Go sit, buddy. We're gonna get him farther away. See how far he's going? He's very distracted, carbon pump. Then we do food. Good boys. Okay. Just to recap, the two mistakes you make are you bribe with food. The second mistake you make is you have the dog sit and then they come to you. The reason the first one is a mistake is because the dog, you saw if you want to rewind this, the dog had the relationship with the food. He was following my hand. He was not following me. The second reason is if you're recalling your dog, they're probably not just sitting by themselves in the middle of the field doing nothing. They're gonna be distracted. So a pure, true recall is your dog is far away, they're distracted and you get them to come. How to do it correctly, don't touch the food until they come to you. In my training program, we use remote collars. Comment below if you have questions about these because they're very sophisticated. We use remote collars to get the dog's attention to come to me and then I'll touch the food and then I, I will reward. And then how we fix the second problem is, guys, the whole point of having a solid recall is so your dog can have freedom, can sniff, can run around, can play with other dogs, can roll in the grass like Carbon was doing. That's the whole point of recall. So give them that freedom and then recall them off of that. So my challenge to you guys is go and practice this. I don't care where, practice it in your house, practice it in your backyard, in your front yard, practice it at the park, I don't care, practice it one time, come back and tell me how it went. I'd love to hear just the slight differences and how it's gonna change your life. And then the last thing I wanna say right now is, please share this video with your family members. I know you all have that one family member who has the dog that is so annoying. So share this video with them. So not only can you help yourself, but you can help them as well. And you can be really benign about it and be like, oh, your dog is so amazing. I thought he could even be more amazing with this video when really their dog needs some serious help. <laughs> if you guys have any questions or comments, comment below, let me know. Um, thanks for watching today, guys. Give a big round of applause for Carbon here. Subscribe, watch this video, and we'll see you next time.